<laughs> right, welcome back to the channel. Me and Matthew are out again today, in one of our local spots. Uh, we've decided to take a little breather. I think we've done about half hours walk ready to get up here. And now uh, we've come across this old building. What a spot to live. We're um, planning on hiking up further today. There is another building that I know of that uh, we want to go and spend the night. We might be able to get uh, sunrise in the morning, I think. So, yeah, look at this old place. Wonder how old this place is. What's that? Oh, that's not a fireplace. <laughs> Probably like an old pig's pen, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, that's the outdoor building, this is the main part. And an old archer's hall. This has got to be a few hundred years old. No chimney. Amazing how these buildings just go into disrepair. There's a fireplace here then. Oh, there you are. Wow. Oh, look, it's been uh, made higher at some point. That's original. And then that's been added. You can see the old lime wash on the walls, look. Wow. Right then. How you feeling, Matt? What? How you feeling, buddy? Good. <laughs> yeah, running a bit late again I am today. Oop. Dead tree stand there, huh? Yeah. It's a big old tree, isn't it? Uh, and that started growing after this house was built. It shows how old this place is. The size of it. Solid. Uh, it's solid. Hollow. Hollow, eh? And this thing. Is that ash, isn't it? I think it is, yeah. Hi. And I've purchased myself a burger. I think it's 100 litre, 80 main, and then obviously the rocket pouches. I bought them mainly for uh, when we do our forest camps. So, I got an old tent coming soon, so keep an eye out on that. That'll be for the winter. Yeah. Plan is. I think we got another 40 minute hike to do and then pitch up and enjoy the sunset maybe and sunrise. We'll see, we'll see. Definitely sunrise, we'll see. I don't think we'll see a sunset though. So yeah, get some food on a go. Usual stuff. What a lovely front garden, isn't it? Flat, you know, most of these stones are from yeah from there yeah talk about peace you'd have up here isn't it? lovely right bring you back in a bit that's where we go in and there's another farmhouse on the other side. And I've had a look on the uh, OS map. Everything this side of the river is Brecon Beacons. That isn't. Only this side is. It's a bit of information for some of you that don't know. 
off you do now. Got you. Yeah, no sunset at all. So nice. For some reason I thought we were higher. Never mind. It's mad when you think about it, all these little houses up here. How peaceful they would have been. Those two down there. And these by a uh, two neighbours like either side of the river. Oh, Matthew looks like he's struggling there. Eh? That's the thing about Breck and Beat Guns. It is one big bog. <laughs> Especially after the rain. Oh, I'm not bad little walk, but I went off. Oh, yeah. Let's get down there and get set up and have a look around. Right. We've arrived at our camp anyway. This old uh, farm ruin. Beautiful spot. We've got our pitch. Matthew's gonna go there and I'm gonna go by there somewhere. I'm gonna leave him set his new tent up first. <laughs> Trying to work out our set, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, so this is us for the night. We want him to come up here for a long time now. Yeah. Yeah, so the plan is make some stew. Matthew's got his uh, Gordon Ramsay cooking. <laughs> What's it called? Uh -huh. What's it called? It's like a barbecue cooker. Barbecue cooker. It's got a skillet on top, isn't it? Yeah. You have seen it in my other videos. I don't think we've really talked about it, to be honest. But yeah, I got some uh, lamb steaks to do on it, and I'm gonna do a slow stew. To eat in the early hours of the morning <laughs> to warm me up so yeah look at this old building what a shame isn't it huh? I bet in this day was lovely so there we are in another ruin there's one on the other side as well, over there, there is a name for it, it is on the OS map, I can't remember though, I'll have a look later now. Right, let's get this time lapse going on Matthew putting his tent up then is it? Yeah, you see my posh pegs, what? Yeah, you've got posh pegs. Like pegs <laughs> Let's have a look. Wow, look at them. Nice. Lightweight. Amazon he bought this off. Not bad. Like nine pound. You wanted a lightweight one man tent, didn't you? Yeah. Plus as well it's got some camo on there. We love a bit of camo. <laughs> a little bit of this old stealth camping in places in the forest and stuff. Gonna be upsetting people do we? For them noticing where we are. Not that we're doing any uh damage or any, anything bad, you know. Leave no traces, they say. Right, let's get his time lapse on a go. tent set up anyway. I am well impressed with this thing. Gear top from Amazon. Nine, what did you pay? £99? Yeah. £99. One man that. I think it comes in at one and a half kilos. Something like that. I'm very impressed with it. I think I'll be buying one. 
Yeah, I know. Sorry, Bev. <laughs> yeah, it's got two guy out points either side. One there. And the other one then is on this side. And you can open this up then for ventilation as well. One zip or two. I think maybe I would shorten this one. So it's only like a foot. But I can see there's tire, two tire points here as well for extra stability. And it clips in with these just to tighten the fly sheet up. Fantastic. I am well impressed. And it's calm more. <laughs> Well, I don't know about the, the guideline. Yeah, we may have to change yeah, it out for some yeah, proper power cord. Yeah. You see tonight, now, if I shine a torch yeah. and they spark, well, you know that. Low profile, though, isn't it? You know? Yeah. The thing is, you don't need headroom down there, do you? No, you we don't. One and a half kilos. It says it's a three to four season. But the fly sheet is a uh, 5,000 hydrostatic head on it. Yeah, you, you can have it without the fly sheet. The in there, I think. Ah, uh, what would you say? Forty percent of it is mesh. You know where your head is. It isn't. You've got the back. Oh yeah, there. the back is sort of yeah. But where yeah, where you lie down, you're fine. Yeah. Lie down, there, Matt. Let's have a look. See. Uh... Well, my boots are. Well, Come on. Oh. Look at him, brand new tent. You don't want to do it. Oh, well, wow. of Plenty of room, right? Yeah. Yeah. Can you sit up? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Not bad. Torch over there as well. Yeah. Pockets in the back. Yeah. Oh. Well impressed. They're fine as well. This comes down, so you sort of trip bars up, and yeah. when you zip there, yeah, you pull it, it back up. up. Take a little skirt there as well. Oh, yeah. Extra protection, like, from yeah. anything blowing in. So it's got to, you can't come up and in, it's got to get through the skirt yeah. to get in. Yeah. Right. So thought it through, didn't it? Yeah. Oh. My turn. <laughs> <laughs> Time lapse on the go! <laughs>
He's strapped to that and he's dead. Ah, now then. I can disconnect there. Yeah. And tie it up there, yeah. Up. This has got no where to go with it. Just tuck it in. I could tuck the size of that. There we are. So we've got some air. Yeah, ventilation, huh? And then not, not too much rainfall. Like, yeah. You know, it's going to have to guide this way down. That, I, that's if you open it up in the rain, though, isn't it? You're not going to air. No. no. I wouldn't have been working on a windy night, no, yeah. I don't know. We must have come here. Yeah. Take off again. I'd rather take the condensation yeah. and dry it off in the morning. So, yeah, this is us. Tripod's catching everything, yeah? Let's <laughs> pull you over here, is it? There we are. Booking spot, you work now? Booking spot, he says. So we're going to fly here, and I'll just make you free light. Uh -huh. Yeah. We're getting, we're getting to that time of year now where it's getting dark about. Oh, I'll look at you. Hang on. Sort it out. <laughs> right, we're getting that time of year now where it's getting dark. Half eight? Mm -hmm. Half eight, yeah, half past eight. We were half past nine. Ten dark light like ten. Yeah. Sun is coming up now about seven o'clock in the morning with us. And I don't like the dark nights. I, uh, I just love the daylight. And time to collect fire wood. Yeah. Take the fire, set up cooking spot, and it'll be dark. Yeah. Yeah. And then just put the match on it, huh? As easy as that. Sounds easy. <laughs> For the last couple of five years, we have. Uh, yeah, but we had, we had three months of rain. Yeah. Uh, this is dry. Well. This stuff is yeah, dry, right. old. Yes. We keep it down low, we won't go too big. Mm. Uh, you got the old fireplace in the house? Yeah, the old fireplace, I don't want to go in there in the dark. No, it's trip as it. I say that. Got too clean on the stonework at the top now, yeah. No. To the wind. It gives you brains. No fun. You haven't got any. That's what I mean. They would give in. I'm not standing under there. <laughs> You clean my whole spot for that, right? That that cheating area, yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the windshield and <laughs> you just nick my whole campsite in one go. <laughs> right. right, I'm not putting that in now. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Sit down, do you like that? Well, this someone wants to my grave. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to do a video, yeah, and he's taking a piss out of me in the background. <laughs> he's six foot down, he's nicked my spot. <laughs> yes, this is Matthew's tarp I'm sitting on. Right. Let's do this uh, still. And, um, go chase. And it drove us. Chuck it in the fire. <laughs> yeah, please, no chase. No bugs, like that. Yeah, I, I had to laugh when I looked at the video and you just go in. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, right. How do I do my stay? I apologize in the dark again, I don't know where I'm going to There you have. You didn't need to. Right, cut an onion up. Is 
good as you can look. Do an S. <laughs> you took reality. Right. Put that in the pan. Big on your hand. Hey. What did you want? All right. Tastes <laughs> lovely, don't it? I got Chinese style pork shoulder steaks. I got kebabs made out of pork kebab. I got kebab with lamb. And a bit of powder toast. Put the rest out. Look at that. Looks ridiculous. I think that's a bit too greedy in it. Oh my god, what have I done? I think I've made a hash for this. <laughs> right, well, that's just bang it all in. Look at me, I see it is. It's going to be amazing. Party meal, not a fatty. There's a lid. Oh then, I got the uh, zebra bonitan. But I got the pot first then. So, you can either have it as a pot that you hold like that. Squeeze that in. Tip it over. On the end here, there's a lock. Snap it down. You can hang that then, bro. So, hang it over what? Anything you want to? Are you just going to put that in as it is? As it is, I'll put it out with my knife like that then. Eh? Well, you put it on the hot. Oh yeah, that's definitely hot. Yeah. It's going on the edge of the fire. Ooh. I put it on there, huh? Go in there, and that's it. Ooh, she's a cooker. And it can stay there for the next four hours. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a long time for you. Right. Oh, the nuns. And the nuns. Mmm. Looking after that meat, Marth? Yeah, I have. It is very thick. You can see the, the oil dripping out of it, like the oil in fat. Gordon Ramsay, do you have it? Ah, you go. It's just a guess here with Gordon. Hang on. What time are we? We've got a fire tonight. Ten to two. Just about. And some skewers. Starving. Oh, look at them. Not even a. Oh, just, just lightly glaze. Here's coming. Let's say, guys, you want to make a fire? I'll do something. Do it right. Pull the embers down. And then it'll cook. Right, you can see in the dark how, uh, oh, how much heat you got down. under the meat yeah. there now. Right there. <laughs> Wait, it's done. Where's the meat? That is lamb steak. It's been about two hours flipping over. And the old hot dogs working. Who got them off? Oh, it's too hot to see. <laughs> 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 Hot boy? Mm 
barbecue pork skewers. Mine is just lamb. But I just realised why I can't taste barbecue and put the sauce on. Okay. Gonna park it over there, innit? Don't need it, bite. I need it. tell you, you don't. No, you actually don't. Do Once that. you have a bite this now, pure meat cooked on the open flame, well, not even open flame, on embers. It's a different taste. It's, it'll change everything for you. Mm. It's like meat without adding flavour has gained flavour from the wood. Everything. Just cooking its own juices, I think. Don't need it. I did, uh, to admit, I did add a few red onions onto it. But... Uh, onions, onions, uh, you'd be lucky to get them spices in the old days. Oh, that's good, lovely, all this pop boy. Oh, no, that's look at that. Oh, easy, well, see, that's a sharp knife, isn't it? Uh, oh, you were saying you were blunt knife earlier? Well, yeah. what were you cutting with it earlier? This. Try it into it, pick it up. <laughs> There's no pink in the middle at all, am I? No, uh, it won't be. Nice bit of crunch on the outside. Oh, yeah. Uh. Look at that, guys. Math. That's going to be hot to eat. Oh, yeah, that will be. Oh, yeah. I've been rotating mine too. Go on, then. Ha, 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 <laughs> ha. Ha 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 ha. Hot said. Uh -huh. the old stew on the go now. So I'll work my way down the skewer. Aye, aye. Further <laughs> on the outside. We're going to leave this cool down now and we're going to have a go. Go on, Emma. Pick a piece of this. First time trying open flame meat. Any one of them on this side because they're cooler. Unless you can take the heat. Mmm. With the charcoal. Oh, it's, it's, uh, mm. oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. I know. You tell that lamb straight away, you can't mm. Mm. Two hours on, a, on, on charcoal. Open flame. Mmm. Mmm. Go on, have another piece. I'm still on the first one, there's some juices coming out of there. Get on it, boys. On the embers. Barbecue lamb. <laughs> Meat for two hours. That's all it is. I thought the pork was nice, but... Uh, no. Lamb. It must be a Welsh thing, but lamb. Oh, yeah. On open flame. Right. Mm. I think that's enough for tonight. Excuse the light. This is a good night. And we'll catch you in the morning. Good morning, people. Right. So, <laughs> I've got enough this morning. Oh, man. Bath is gone. Where is he gone? So yeah, Martha was here last night, <laughs> for some reason. He's got to move to tent in the middle of the night. <laughs> uh, I know I'm not that bad snoring. <laughs> I think we were in bed about half past two last night. Well, I did anyway. I know he was in his tent for that day. <laughs> he pitched in the middle of the night. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, God. Let's go and see where Matthew is at.
Yeah, it's supposed to score out, man. That's why it is a wolf. <laughs> oh. Good morning, Mars. So why did you move your tent? I was sleeping next to a bear's cave. <laughs> so you basically say I snow. Oh, you were the best spot. <laughs> your tent was within that out at the same time with the roller. <laughs> Lasted 10 minutes and I was gone. I think he's like, yes, not all that bad. Hey, I had to pitch a tent up in the dark. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, because I was snowed in? Well, yeah, I wouldn't be able to sleep otherwise, would I? <laughs> well, I can't listen to that all night. <laughs> uh, oh, well. On top of the moors trying to get away from your bloody snow, eh? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it's always a camping, isn't it? <laughs> Aye, we'll be pitching ankles again. <laughs> uh, right, I'm still having a lot of coffee. Uh, and coffee now, on some porridge. And then pack up and go home. Yeah, you were right, Dan Paul. What's that? My uh, burger has got the metal cage in the back. Yeah, no doubt. There's a mid trench, yeah? Aye. That's us all packed up and squared away. Fire's gone, covered it over as best we can. Matthew's first pitch over there, nice and clean, no second pitch, sorry, nice and clean. That's where I was, that's where Matthew was first and then he decided to move. Because he wasn't quite happy where he was pitched, for some reason. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching, catch you on the next one.